memoirs of a fat girl going from F-A-T to P-H-A-T in real time. P-H-A-T stands for pretty, healthy, and terrific. I am here trying to transform my life. So don't you dare forget to subscribe to our channel. Go ahead and click below and click that like button. We are here today on boot camp number four. Number four, I can't believe it. So it's only four, but we are gonna keep continuing to do this. So we are doing this three times a week now. It is Monday and Wednesdays at 5.30 p.m. And Saturdays, and Saturdays at 8 a.m. There, he already started the people up behind us, right? So PJ, go ahead and take over, go ahead. So we are on number four. Our workouts are gonna incrementally increase in terms of duration of time and intensity you'll be able to handle it. We're also gonna introduce a uh, nutrition component this week. 90% of what your body is going to look like, 90% of what you do has to do with what you eat. 10% is the workout. I know I people want to flip that it. math and be like, yeah, you know, I got to be 90% in the gym. I got to do this and that, da, 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 da. They and they want. eat very little or eat what you want because the misnomer is that I'll burn it off. That is not always the case. Not so always the case. This week they're going to get homework. They're going to have to keep journals, food journals, writing things down. Oh, okay. So it gives me a perspective on where they're at, where their, their struggle times are, if they're eating too much, if they're not eating at all. So... That being said, we're gonna get started. All right, I gotta get out there, man. <sighs>
How do you feel today? <laughs> Tell me how you really feel. What's for dinner? You know what, Rudy? Salad. You getting a salad or a shake? I didn't work out. I didn't have to work out. I work out all day long. A shake. A shake. <laughs> 100 calorie shake. Exactly. <laughs>
the exercise of having to get a pen and paper out and recording that is part of this exercise in discipline and whatnot. So I want you to write it down. Bye, gang, right here like this. Twist that body. Twist that body. How does everybody feel? <laughs> you only came in halfway. You were running. <laughs> so on a scale of one to ten, the intensity of this workout. Oh my gosh, that was hard. That was too long. Yeah, so it was pretty tough. Eight. Yeah. Eight. eight. Is that zero? Eight. eight. A three. Eight. They said eight. I said three. Okay, so three. Three. No, that's three. Not, that's not true. Is one, one the people. highest or ten, ten is the highest? Ten is the highest. Ten. Oh. This is our COVID high five. Fat girls on three. One, two, three. Fat girls. There you go. Oh shit, he Get said it. Listen, I have, that's her word, not my word. I, I don't like that word. Hi guys, you know. what I want is. Hey guys, thank you so much for watching. This is Nina Perez at Memoirs of a Fat Girl. We worked out our asses off, and you have, are missing it. You're missing it. We are on boot camp four, so we're very early in. If you guys want a part of this, please make sure that you subscribe to my channel, click like on the video, but also email me at hello at memoirsofafatgirl.live. Memoirsofafatgirl.live. I think I said .com before. I, ha I own that one too, but it's .live. So please email me, and then that way I can tell you what, where we're gonna be, the information, all of that great stuff. PJ will be leading this Fat Girl Boot Camp for as long as I can have him, um, but he is willing to just do what he has to do to get you guys to a healthy place, get me to a healthy place. This is my personal journey, Nina Perez, right? So I am going from F-A-T to P-H-A-T, and it is freaking hard to do. I asked them to up their intensity, and I actually, controlled that controlled the clock a little bit more and made the intervals rest time just got a little bit smaller and smaller and smaller also today we are we are starting our week of nutrition I'll be dropping some helpful hints on their eating regime I don't really like the word diet I like sensible eating you have to fuel your body for what you're putting it through so their homework for the rest of this week until next this time next week everyone has to do a food journal now the interesting thing about food journal sometimes people use it and be like oh i can't write that down or i can't write that down but that's not the purpose of it it's not a aha i got you it really is a tool to help the person working out and it's also a tool for me so it helps me when i look at certain information i could see what what time of day is their struggle point what time of day are they reaching for maybe a sugary snack are they drinking enough water mm -hmm. are they eating enough calories a lot of times people that are trying to lose weight they're like okay i, I can't eat this i only ate that and and i gotta eat protein and, and then very little carbs and blah, blah 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 well that's my problem right i eat very sporadically so i'll eat if I eat lunch, I won't chef. eat dinner, right? If I eat breakfast, I, I won't eat lunch, I'll eat dinner. Like it's, and it's not on purpose, right? It's just, yeah. you're around food all the time, you're cooking and whatever, and you just, it, leave, it just leaves your brain, you know? But it's important. And we're gonna talk about blood sugar levels, we're mm -hmm. gonna talk about times of day that you eat, mm -hmm. we're gonna talk about what can I eat, what do I look for? A lot of people don't know these things. So, stay tuned, yep. this is number four. You have all the intel, if you wanna reach out and join us, reach out to Nina. Yep. PJ out. No, fat out. Oh. Fat out. Fat.